Another interesting force is gravity. Okay, we have two gravity. Now, if you reach this, so you say we have two gravity in Cinema 4D. <clears throat> we have the basic gravity in Cinema 4D exactly when you assign a dynamic object, cloud simulation, anything. If you play, everything uh, suddenly falls down because of the software gravity. It's here. It's a mode and a project. In a bullet tag, in a bullet tab, in a general, we have a, a gravity of this number. You can uh, increase or decrease the power of the gravity here. Nice. Okay. This is a software gravity. That's I will be explaining all of them when we reach to the dynamic. But in some objects, like a, <clears throat> a meter, they are following on the air. As you can see, we have no gravity, nothing. But if you assign a rigid body tag, for example, go to the here in the bullet and the rigid body tag. Now, as you can see, they are falling down because of the gravity. Nice. But if you don't want to assign the <clears throat> dynamic uh, simulation tag to your emitter and you want to some space, you have a gravity on this particle, you can use simulation gravity. The gravity here, as you can see, it has an arrow. It means the gravity direction is here. The interesting part of it is that it's infinite. As you can see, they are falling down. And <clears throat> you can visually, as you can see, rotate the gravity direction. It's nice. It's like a wind. It acts like a wind in this situation. Nice. So the first benefit of the, this gravity here is <clears throat> you can control the direction of it very easy. Go to the gravity tab, acceleration, this number is, is actually number of the gravity in the world, in the earth. So you can increase or decrease the power of the gravity here. Okay, you can change this number. Uh, we have a mode exactly like acceleration. It is force, it's calculate the mass. I explain it in this. And we have aerodynamic winds because it acts like a wind. It means, look at this image. We have, for example, it threw something that like this here in this direction. And this is an uh, this is an aerodynamic behavior. It's going and it's falling down. Okay. In this situation, if you simulate like this, you can <clears throat> change the mode here. But interesting uh, thing in this, uh, gravity is you can control with the fall off with the fields for example box field as you can see what interesting happening here they are following in the air and after that if they're reaching to our if they're reaching as you can see you can control uh, in which part of the particle you can affect the gravity it's nice you can rotate this in this direction, in this direction. But uh, if you have, you can see. So you can control uh, in emitter, you can control the direction of the object and assign the gravity to part one, any part of the your emitter that you want. So another benefit of that, this gravity from the whole system gravity of Cino 40 is this. So. Uh, here, as you can see, we have a system gravity here. They're falling down. You can assign this gravity here, but it does not mean here. For example, because we have a dynamic gravity here. For example, if you um, make the gravity in this direction, as you can see, it's act like a wind. They're going in this direction. We, so we have two gravity. One gravity in this direction, this is a cinema for the drag with the gravity, and the gravity in this direction. So all of the particle <clears throat> going in that direction fall down. Because uh, this is a gravity, it's push the object in this direction, in any direction that this arrow is, so it acts like a wind. As you can see, uh, the mass of, of these objects are very little. If you go to the gravity and change it to the force, it's calculate the, ma the, ma uh, the mass of the object and shooting them because they are very light. You have to go to the rigid body in a mass and 
change the mass uh, custom mass you can assign the custom mass in the higher number and as you can see we have a very dense object and that the, this wind cannot be shoot them but if you assign it to the word density it shouldn't so it's calculate the mass if you go to force objects so then like aerodynamic winds it's like real real, real life but the best is acceleration it does not concern it's just concerned the shape of the your emitter so you learn this gravity this gravity is exactly like system gravity but in c4d we have two gravity one gravity is <clears throat> c4d system and this gravity you can control it direction power field of that gravity that's its benefit is uh, better in emitter objects hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release